we are at the State Fair of Texas doing the ultimate fried food challenge. Let's go. One of the first places many people eat is a Fletcher's corn dog here at the fair. But in my opinion, they're just overrated. They're not as good as many people think they are. I have a better start to this ultimate fried food adventure. Let me show you what I got in store. Fried butter. Look at that. Bruh. It definitely looks different than I thought it was gonna look. It coated in like some like cinnamon sugar and like honey. Let's try it. Bruh. It just tastes like like a hard beignet or like a soap up here. It's fire. The inside is very like mushy, but the outside is very crispy. And you can definitely taste the butter. I give fried butter a definite eight out of 10. Let's move on to the next one. Next what we have is fried pho. Like what the pho? Who would have thought? It won some type of like people's choice award or something like that. Apparently people like it. The line was packed. Probably waited in line for like probably 15 minutes. Let's see if it's worth it. I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on it. It comes with some hoisin sauce. I'm just gonna fully load it. First, let's take a bite without anything. Okay. I think it's lacking flavor. Let's try with a little hoisin. Mm. Hoisin adds the flavor back. Also, it came with some like I don't even know what this is. Raw? I don't know if I'm supposed to dip this. I guess I'll dip it this time. Okay. This is definitely good. And for the spicy kick, we're gonna add this in there. Some sriracha chili sauce. Hopefully it's good. Mm. Mm. This right here, 24 tickets or $24. Do I think it's worth it? No, don't buy this. <laughs> it's not worth 24 tickets. Maybe like 17 tickets, I probably would buy this again. But for 24, there's no way. But it's good uh, on flavor wise. I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a, a solid like 7.5. But cost wise, probably a 4.4. So. There's my ratings. Let's move on to the next one. Hey man, I had to go back, waiting at a long line for some fried Oreos. I've never had these. These gotta be good, right? I love Oreos. I like, I, I love fried food. So like a fried Oreo gotta be good, right? It can't be bad. Let's go ahead and give it a try. She does the heck out of these. This may be better than Oreos and milk. The Oreo is like melting away. It's all warm, soft, extra powdered sugar. The breading is soft yet crispy. That's what you want. So, man, look at that cross section right there. It's beautiful. <clears throat> also, I don't know if I said it, but everything I eat, I'm finishing the entire thing. If I'm paying $24 for pho, it's getting eaten. And I think the Oreos, I think these bad boys was like 10 tickets. Would I say they're worth it? I like them, I like them a lot. Uh, you only get three of them for 10 tickets. Flavor wise, nine out of 10. Cost wise, i give it like an eight. Like the cost definitely brings it down a notch, but I'd probably still buy it again. Everybody jump! All right, back with the fried cheesy crab tater tots. I was walking past somebody and they actually said, bro, the best thing here is these cheesy fried tater tots, hands down. So I had to go get them. They were 16 tickets, 16 for like, I don't know if you can see how many are in there, like five tater tots. So $16, 
Hey, they got crab on them, so hey. Let's give them a try. They got the most flavor of anything I've had today. But it's a little too much. It's definitely spicy and hella hot. I'm talking like, I'm talking temp wise. My mouth, it couldn't take it. I'm probably gonna have to let these bad boys chill out. But they do have like little pieces of crab on them. They look more like shrimp, but who's to tell? I gotta say, these are pretty good. What would I rank them though? I rank them like a, maybe like a seven out of 10. But for the price, four out of 10, bro, I'm not buying these bad boys ever again. I don't think it's worth the money. I think flavor wise, it tastes great, but worth the money, no, no. I think we got like two more things that we're gonna get on this adventure. So let's go ahead and head to one of them now. Okay, I'm back. After actually trying these tater tots and letting them cool down a little bit, they do not, <laughs> they turn straight into mush. I don't like that. Maybe you like that, I don't like it. So I had to, Bring down all the ratings. Flavor wise, go gone. Deep fried cornbread sausage bomb. All right, this was uh, 14 tickets for two. It was like $7 each. Uh, outside the fair, I would never buy any of this stuff. It's way too expensive. So let's go ahead and try this. Let me try it with no sauce first. There you go. Hey, dog. Oh my God. That's that cheese that is on that new Chick-fil-A sandwich. I don't know what it's called. You got sausage in there, cornbread, sweet, crunchy, soft on the inside. Cheese is nice, melted. Oh, jalapenos in there. Dog. Now we gotta try it with the sauce that came with it. Mm. This has been the best thing I had all day. Easy 9.5. But adjust for price, easy nine. I'm buying this again. Matter of fact, I'm gonna come a second time because I want to try this again. I'm not eating this again today. I gotta come a second time during this time. Mmm. It's pretty good, bro. Fermento? Fermento cheese? That sound familiar? I don't know. Easily. Mm. I'm glad they had the jalapenos and the sausage in there. It makes the dish. Bear, you did me right today. I just spent 20 minutes looking for fried sushi. And when I found it, I waited 30 minutes in line for them to tell me that they're out. I guess they don't come prepared. It's not even late in the day. I guess they're going to re-up or something. Thank you guys for another video. I love you. I thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.